Good morning, everyone. My name is Gary Wilson. This is Saturday morning, June 10th, 2017. I'm in Davis, Oklahoma. I want to talk to you about my Garden Anywhere box system. Uh, first, I want to talk to you about how I found out about it and why I purchased it. I first saw it at the State Fair back in September 2015. had a display there. Picked up some literature on it. I like the system. Uh, did some research on it, studied it. But it wasn't until this past March at a home show in the city that I purchased the system. I'd been raising some plants of my own inside that I was going to put out in the garden. So on uh, Saturday, April 15th, Easter weekend, I planted my gab system. Uh, the reason I got it is because it looked like it would be a good way to grow vegetables, uh, an easy way, convenient, wouldn't take up a lot of time, something I don't have a lot of. I work 60 plus hours a week, uh, so I don't have a lot of time during the week to take care of a regular garden, all the weeding and watering and everything you got to do. Uh, that's the reason I purchased it. The reason I love it is because of those reasons. It's easy, it's convenient, takes care of itself. I don't have to worry about pulling weeds. Uh, with my watering system hooked up, I don't have to worry about constantly watering it, making sure it's getting enough water. Uh, I fill up my can right now about twice a week. It's using uh, two 30-gallon containers of water a week right now uh, with, with, with the way it's growing. Uh, so I want to show you my plants that I have planted uh, let you see how they're doing. As you can see, it's gotten pretty large over the last two months. And I've got two different types of tomatoes planted. I've got a summer girl, which is an average size tomato. I've got some baby boomer cherry tomatoes. I've got two different types of peppers. One of them is a born to be mild pepper. Looks kind of similar to a jalapeno, uh, but with a lot less heat in it. And I've got some bull-nosed bell peppers. I've got some pole beans that are called Ideal Market. I've got some honey rock cantaloupes planted. And the plant that's just gone crazy, like I've never seen a marigold grow before, is a Cracker Jack marigold. As you can see, it's just loaded in bloom. This got about right now. And there's probably another 30 at least buds that are almost there. Bees and butterflies have been working on it constantly. You can see how the tomatoes are growing. You can't hardly see the containers for the foliage. You can see we've got some tomatoes that are getting to be good size. Peppers over here. I'm probably going to pick some of them today. They're looking pretty good. I'll go down here, up down the steps, and I'll show you some more. Now, this was kind of an experiment for me. But like any good experiment, you need a control. If you can see this pot here, I've got a tomato planted in it. And it's just been dwarfed by everything else. It's a cherry tomato plant. It's just small compared to everything else. I have to water it every day to make sure it doesn't wilt down. You can see we got a lot more tomatoes coming on. This is our cantaloupe. You can see it's growing up the trellis that I made. I noticed earlier we got a got a baby cantaloupe here. We got several of them that are starting to come on. The pole beans have just gone crazy. We got blooms all over them. I expect to be having some beans growing on there before too long. 
My cantaloupe is just growing everywhere. I got lots of blooms on it. And this is my watering can, the 30 gallon trash can. I made it last year to use in my regular garden with a sucker hose. Uh, it's inexpensive to make the can and hose bib together and made it was about $25 to hook that up. This is the float system for the automatic water. You see it's got a float in it. This controls the water that goes into the boxes as it's needed. So you can see they're constantly being watered. If you don't have a water system, you can see the tube PVC pipe sticking up there. You can water it through the PVC. Or to all the fresh veggies. I'm going to get off of this. And this whole system is including the water system is in about 25 square feet of space. You can see it doesn't take up much space. I've got it on the corner of my patio. And I know the one improvement I'll have to make next year is to have more support. As big as everything gets, it just weighs down and you need plenty of support for your tomatoes and your other plants. And the foliage is just outrageous. It's dark green. It's not pale. You never have to worry about it wilting down for lack of water in the hot sun. So that's my system. I hope that more people take advantage of it. You know, they're, we're started right here in Oklahoma, up by Oklahoma City in New Walla. The folks that own it work hard at it. They're at farmer market shows today demonstrating it. Just hope you all make contact with them. If you go on the internet, it's gardenanywherebox.com. They're easy to find. They have lots of information on there, uh, how to get started. The hardest work you're going to have on it is when you initially get your boxes ready. That took me about an hour and a half to two hours to set them up, put the potting soil in them, get them together, plant the plants. That's the hardest work you're going to have all year. Enjoy your garden, folks. I hope everybody can get one. Thanks.